Hi. Okay. Uh, Highlands Towers. Here's the first tower, just to the right of the jump in point. Um, and uh, wind socks. Your first wind sock is just up here. I'm going to run along, and I'm then going to use a cheap travel trick to jump to Overlook Town afterwards. Uh, but here's the first wind sock. Um, then you can turn around and get the second com tower. That's just up there. And you'll want a sniper uh, rifle for this mission, because one of the shots is really, really far, and it's going to be hard to do it without it, and you'll want something with high accuracy. Um, so ideally not a Hyperion, because their first few shots are a pain. Anyway, you get back here and jump to Overlook, uh, where you'll be lined up for the second Windsock. Now, you might be able to drop down from this Windsock to the third, I'm not sure. Uh, it might be quicker than driving. Um, you'll see where it is. But anyway, head to the way I did it. Head to this travel point, pick up the car and follow these directions. Now the reason I drive between them is because I think it's more helpful to see um, where you need to go. Uh, seeing all these things in isolation doesn't always help. Um, so being able to navigate between them, and chances are you missed a few, so coming back and just rounding them all up, maybe you don't know which ones you've got, just helps you check through them. Now you're going to go all the way down to... <laughs> I tried to shoot the comm tower from there, you can't, that's the uh, last one you uh, you're going to go all the way down to the wharf, and then the third comm tower is up here, and there's a bit of a dirty cut because I forgot about it on the run back, so I come back at night. Um, and it's just out over the edge. Um, you'll see where I aim now. Kneel down when you're sniping this long distance, it really helps steady your aim. Um, and again, don't use a Hyperion gun, they sway about the first few shots way too much. There we go, I got it eventually. Um, if you are having trouble hitting it, you can drop down under the bridge. Uh, I'll show you where that is in a second. You can drop down there um, and snipe it from a lot closer, so that's going to be easier for you. Um, but back to the mission. You head this way. I always drop down to the right. There might be a quicker way. Uh, and then up and around here. This one is an utter bitch, this windsock. Um, I spent ages trying to wheedle my way up here, but... The only way I can tell to do it is with a car, because this little bit here you can't get over without the car, and you need to be going full speed, so take the light runner, because uh, it accelerates more quickly. Then get out of the car, and it'll put you up here. Now you'll look up, and that's the fourth comm tower there, but I already shot it in a previous take. Um, the car will be stuck, whatever happens, I've never had it not stuck. So uh, drop down, run back, um, and for the next one it might be quicker to go directly to it, you'll see where it is. Uh, but I choose to take the car, because I think I'm going to use it afterwards, and then I just don't bother anyway. But you run up here, um, you can see where the last one was from here, because you can see where the comm tower was. But pick this one up, uh, this is number 6. Number 7 is tucked away, if you have been uh, and done Tannis' Lost Echo missions, you'll have had to go up here to get to it, so you may have already come across this one. But you need to get up here anyway for the 8th one, which is just sneaky and dirty, and that's why I'm leaving it to last, because it leaves you without a car in the middle of nowhere. Uh, also up here is the Cult of the Vault symbol, and I'll annotate that so you know where it is. Um, but essentially, just before you cross the big bridge, you take a left. Um, here, it's just on that building that I've just dropped down next to, and you kind of shimmy around the side. Uh, but you'll find it. And there's the flagpole down there, but what you need to do is run around to the top. Uh, and then drop over it here onto a ledge, and the drop's fine, you can steer in the air, so you can pull back. Um, I picked pretty much the worst place to drop, so anywhere's going to be fine. Um, and that's it, well done, bye!